right, Virgos, Virgos. Welcome, welcome, you Virgos. Let's go in and see your reading. All right, so Virgos, what we are seeing here, um, this is a four weeks reading. Whenever you pick it up, it's timeless. Whenever you pick it up, it is the right time. All right, so Virgos, there is a lot that is happening, a lot that is transpiring. There is no question about this, Virgo. Um, this four weeks period, and my excuses for um the lateness of your reading, but I have been having um uh some health issues um that needs to be taken care of. Okay, so um Virgos, 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 you are shedding light on a situation. Oh, I just love this, Virgos. All right, so Virgos, you're starting off this four weeks period. Starting and ending. You're starting off this four weeks period with the energy of the Ace of uh, um, Pentacles. And that energy of the Ace of Pentacles is about inner and external success. But this inner and external success is basically in the reverse. Okay, so we got to be um, understanding when uh, reverse energies are here. We got to recognize what is happening. Now, why is this in the reverse? Okay, we got to figure out why is this um, energy is in the reverse? Because whenever energy comes up in the reverse, we got to be looking at this because this is a sense of in um, internal and external success. So we want to call upon the angels and guides to bring in the Christ light before we get into this reading in order for us to clear the energy itself of what is happening and transpiring, okay? So, what we are going to be doing is recognizing the form of energy that is going to be transpiring. And it's very important ooh, for us to all recognize the Ace of Pentacles is a very, very positive energy, okay? And when we see the energy of the Ace of Pentacles, we have to understand that it's all about us and it is all about uh, the inner success that we carry um, within us and what we are declaring um, to the world because we are at a position where we are really um, balancing out uh, a whole lot of stuff in our lives. So um, whether it's in the reverse or it's in the upright position, it is about you uh, recognizing it's about satisfaction. It's about gains. It's about lavishness, okay? So you got to be aware. But small, when it's in the reverse, uh, it's about small disappointment, uh, um, lower than expected. Uh, um, you, you know, you were open for something um, much more. So whatever is happening is that you're dealing with a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. Now, whoever this young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person is, um, it, it is a situation where you are expecting more of this person. You are definitely expecting more of this person. And whatever that was happening and transpiring, you were expecting that this person would have pulled up their bootstraps and show up for themselves and show that they are capable of a position that you got them in. But you're very disappointed with this person. There is a unsatisfactoriness with this person. You're very disappointed because now you're recognizing um, it is a four week period that you're going to be recognizing that this person is not a, um, who you, um, you know, they can't manage the position that you have placed them in or you have got them in. And for you, that is a sort of a disappointment, okay? It is a really disappointment because you are now reflecting and looking at how this person came in with a lot of brilliant ideas and expertise and recognizing now uh, and why is the why is, um, decision and you're now recognizing that this person, um, you know, pack up their CVs and who they say they are is not really um, what is being now being revealed on the work floor. And, you know, this is a very disappointing situation um, for you. And you feel as if, you know, this person has disappointed you because 
what they're you know you're you're recognizing that whoever this person is is coming up as a scorpion or a virgo all right so this person is coming up uh, maybe it's you your inner self your inner child that you felt as if uh, you did not present a situation properly you did not uh, um you know give your hundred percent and you're feeling disappointment in yourself but in another case a lot of you are feeling disappointment in a young um person a young scorpion um that you gave um you know a position to because you thought this young scorpion um you know had what it takes to be in this position and now is recognizing that you're very disappointed in this person all right then when we look um, behind you, we see the energy of the devil in reverse. Now, this energy of the devil in reverse, this is about um, an, um, an Aries moment where the tower is going to be coming down. So you could be deciding to um, fire this person or let this person go because you recognize, because whenever the energy of the devil comes up, it's a fire energy. Okay, and you recognize that this person basically tricked you and, you know, create an illusion for them to get this position. And uh, now you're going to be releasing uh, this person from out that position in order to create um, a better position. So the energy of the devil is about the energy of Mars. Okay, and it is an abrupt moment whenever you see the energy of the devil um in a, a business reading it's about an abrupt moment is the energy of aries and aries carries the energy of mars so you are going to be firing this person in the third week you're going to be making a decision and fire this person in the third week because you recognize that this person creates some sort of an illusion and by this person creating this illusion you're now recognizing that this person had tricked you into getting this position and as is not doing well into this position. So um, it could be for the scorpion person because obviously the light has been shed on the scorpion person, but it's also shedding on some of you Virgos who um, started a new job. But uh, as you reach to the third week, they're going to be saying, you know, um, it is not what we had expected. We had expected more. It is not what we are expected. We're not satisfied with it. So, you know, we're going to be releasing you at the end of the month. So that could be also a situation, but it doesn't um, have to basically be that way. But it can be that you're reprimanded at the third week and ask you, they're going to be asking you at the third week, you know, we thought you would have gotten whatever this project, this uh, um, this um, talks off and you still haven't got it off. Because if you notice the energy of the whip is there, which we're going to be looking on. So when we see the energy of the devil, this is a situation where someone is going to be fired and it is uh, uh, looking as if a scorpion is going to be fired because they recognize that a scorpion has created some sort of an illusion and the scorpion is going to be fired. Then we look at the businessmen, Virgo businessmen. I see a lot of you Virgo businessmen are having problems with people in authority. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you Virgo businessmen in the fourth week are going to be having some sort of a serious problem with people in authority and i see conflicts i see a lot of you businessmen are having some sort of a conflicts and whatever these conflicts is um um it is showing up the five of cups in reverse and the energy of the five of cups in reverse is mars in cancer so obviously there is someone that is going to be fired okay the Five of Cups is the energy of Mars in Cancer. And Mars in Cancer is about an abrupt ending. And um, this looks for a lot of you Virgos that a young scorpion is going to be fired. And because uh, light has been shed on a young scorpion. And uh, um, um, some of you could have been all in this young scorpion at ransom. And I see that some sort of a towel moment is coming down. And they're going to be recognizing um, what a scorpion have done. And it's as if some of you are going to be recognizing, hey, I got to get rid of a scorpion and a cancer, whoever this um, scorpion and this cancer is. So I see a lot of you Virgos are going to be making a decision to fire a cancer 
and to fire in scorpion okay some of you a cancer some of you a scorpion because you recognize that there are um the skills and knowledge is not completing the position that they're in and you're going to be firing them so you know this is a situation where a lot of you a virgo businessmen are really and i see you virgo businessmen have already made up your your um decision and you're going to be deliberating this because a lot of you virgo businessmen have come in some sort of a problem with people in authority okay so we see the energy of the kaisenar and um the the in 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 in, in the forefront is the Ten of Wands. And what is the energy of the Ten of Wands? It's standing above you. Saturn in Sagittarius. Saturn in Sagittarius. So there is a whole lot of conflicts. Um, it's a crazy situation that is going on. Um, it is a whole lot of conflicts. Um, there needs to be some sort of a discipline to bring back in a corporation institution. Light is now being shed on a Sagittarian who could have brought in a, uh, a, um, a scorpion in a business, a scorpion in the Aries uh, in your organization institution. And there is a huge problem because they're recognizing that this scorpion, this, um, Sagittarian, um, have created a whole lot of issue. Light is now being shed in on the people that this add on to brought in a corporation institution. So there are some serious things that is happening. And a lot of you, when you pounce up on the energy of the emperor, it is, um, some of you, um, did not achieve your goal, um, in this four weeks. Some sort of a goal was not to achieve. And I see that, um, a lot of you um, businessmen are going to be in some sort of a confrontation with a Sagittarian um, because whenever Saturn comes up in Saggy, this is about uh, a whole lot of conflicts. So a lot of you businessmen are definitely having a whole lot of conflicts around. And especially if you're a supervisor, there is a whole lot of conflicts around. And in order for you to achieve some sort of a balance between you and managers, you have to make the decision by getting rid of a scorpion, um, getting rid of an Aries, and getting rid of a cancer, and shutting a situation down in order for some sort of a balance between you and management can come up. So I see a lot of you Virgos are really going to be standing your ground. A lot of you Virgos are really going to be um, using um, your um, uh, skills um, and knowledge in order to acquire your goals um, and not thinking about anyone else's uh, feelings, but yet still moving through this energy because you recognize some sort of a changes needs to come in. And if you do not bring in these changes, your job is going to be on the line. So a lot of you, um, Virgos are going to be having huge problems with ed hunters because they have not bring in the proper people to fit the proper position. But also I see managers are looking at you Virgos to resolve a situation because they recognize that you Virgos have and could have been working with an end hunter that brought in um, people in the, in the organization. And these people, their CV is not matching who they are and their skills and knowledge is not matching who they are. And I see a huge uh, blow up because managers are now recognizing that these people are dead weight. They're basically dead weight, okay? Managers are now recognizing that these people are dead weight. These people are just carrying their weight around and it is not helping um, the corporation at all. So, um, you know, a lot of you are going to be, your head is going to be on the table because you see all of this uh, um, Saturn in Sagittarian where there is... Um, there has to be some sort of a discipline coming back in a corporation institution. There must be discipline coming back in a corporation institution. Otherwise, a lot of you um, are going to be either losing your position. Um, but, you know, you're sitting strong. So it's, uh, it's as if managers are saying, you know, Virgos, I know you have it within you to bring this situation in balance, um, you know, here. Uh, you have my support. Uh, 
whatever way and however way you need to bring it, you need to do it. All right. So Virgos, I am going to be moving forward. If you'd like to see this reading, these readings are timeless. Choose um, the uh, choose the second subscription and uh, um, you will get the extended of this reading. There is a lot in the archive. I want to say thank you for being here. Please remember to thumbs up and share, share, share. Namaste until next time.